Welcome back to the channel guys. The Studio Rays, Boys in the Toys. Check it out. Got another DIY um, how-to video, all right? Um, as you can see, I'm in front of my stairs right now and I'm look, um, gonna be doing a, pretty much a facelift to my stairs. If you've been following my channel, been checking out the other videos I've been putting up. I've been doing work on my den. My den is pretty much 90% done. Um, I gotta work on two independent stairs. I'm just gonna start with the top one right now. And so I'm gonna show you how I'm doing it. Um, again, this is how I'm approaching it. Uh, so it may give you guys some ideas if you have similar stairs, which you need to get this done. All right, so stay with me. As you know, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go step by step. Um, I'm gonna put on a little time lapse. Uh, if any issues or anything, I'll stop, explain why I'm doing it, and we'll just keep it moving. All right, guys, again, Studio Rays HD, Boys in the Toys, thank you for joining me. Please consider hit that subscribe button, that like button, give me some comments about it, and let's get into the video, all right? All right, guys. Uh, so as you see, these are my stairs here. First, you can first thing you have to do, and I pretty much started. You're gonna have to strip down whatever uh, things you can take off. Uh, I have some old tiles that's glued down. I'm just going right over this. All right, I'm not gonna bother with this because these are very difficult to get off. All right, so I'm just gonna go right over it. The parts that we're using uh, is called retro risers and retro treads all right i put a link on what they are but uh those are the things we're going to be using to give us a facelift on our stairs here all right guys uh, what i'm doing now um i'm getting my measurements of the thickness from here to this riser here and it's about a just about an inch almost like an inch and a quarter i would say so I'm gonna measure that part up here, and what I'm gonna do, come back with my um, saw saw and my circular saw and cut this lip off. All right, so again, this has to come off before I put the, tre the, the new treads on. So what I'm using, I'm using a little uh, copper and square. I'm just using this, buttoning it against the tread coming up, trying to keep as level as possible to get my rough estimate of how much I have to take off. Then I'm gonna take that measurement, bring it up here, uh, put a line, uh, snap a chalk line here to here, and that'll give me my measurements. So Okay, guys, I just have to uh, mention something uh, too. If you're using a circular saw, ah, a circular saw uh, make sure you set your depth a little bit, all right? Uh, once you get that height, then you lock it in. So you don't want to come all the way down like that. Uh, so just get your depth. It's pre pretty much the thickness of this uh, tread is how much you want to just go past a little bit to cut this off. So I just want to bring that to your attention on how to do that.
All right, guys, I just want to give you guys a tip. Uh, when I do my measurements, um, especially when I'm doing in interior, I, I guess, uh, measurements, I find a certain tool that's invaluable, and it's this tool right here, all right? So it just takes out the hassle with a tape measure and trying to get the estimate or whatever. If you, you guys are a DIYer, I suggest pick up some type of measurement like this or pick up this one exactly. I'll put a link down below, but this thing, I did the whole stairs using it. My whole den, I used this. Again, it's not the one all, do all, everything, but it does help with measurements and getting it down down to the 16th and again it gets it goes much quicker than a regular tape measure all right guys um all right i already got the the risers cut to length all right i pre-cut them already and i already went and painted it also all right just uh so it's a less step i have to worry about later um any imperfections do my insulation i'll just have to come back with some touch-up paint and that's it and this is done so I suggest pre-paint them, cut them to length, so, and test, and test fit them. So right now we're all just doing a dry run, all right? We're cutting it down to size, and we're gonna dry fit everything before uh, we decide to connect them. So now I'm starting to mark out for my treads. I'm gonna cut the length first, and then I'm gonna cut the width later. So right now, what I did, I went and measured each step um, to find out the width of it, all right? And I marked it on a marker on the steps so I don't have to keep going back and measuring. So I ended up doing that. Um, I'm dealing with 33 and three quarters uh, as in length here. So I'm gonna cut each one now, the width of it, uh, dry fit it, make sure it fits properly. Then I'll cut the length to fit from back to front. So that's what we're gonna do. So stay with me and let's continue on with the video. All right guys, as you can see, uh, right now I got out to length. My measurements is about 33 and three quarters. All right, and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be cutting it on my table saw here. All right, um, you can do this with a circular saw, but since I have the two of a, uh, the luxury to have a um, table saw, with a fence, I'm gonna, it'll be easier for me. So I just kind of have to butt it against my fence and just rip it straight down, all right? Um, and that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, so I'm gonna rip this down to size, then I'm gonna take it inside and test. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you how I'm doing this on the table saw, all right? When you um, when you cut your, uh, your, tr your risers, make sure you bring up the blade just about to this height, all right? At least that's how I'm doing it, all right? You're going to go through, cut whatever length. Now, as you notice, when you get to this end here, it's too high, all right? So what I'm doing, I'm simply taking my blade, I'm going to a certain point, all right? I'm stopping right about there. And as it's still in the blade, I'm just going to take the, the blade and rise it up in place without pushing. And it's going to keep on coming up, up, up. Up, 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 and just keeps on going, and eventually it'll cut this part here without even moving. All right, so that's how I'm taking care of that that piece there. All right, guys. Um, got my first uh, tread cut to length. Okay, my opening is 33 and three quarters. All right, so I cut that to length. Now, if you guys cut it to the precise measurements of this width, um, it may be a little too big. 
slightly, all right? You either can go back and cut it or cut it a little shorter the first time. In my case, I don't like doing that. I, I prefer to uh, creep up to my measurements to make it fit as opposed to trying to get it cut the right the first time because you only got one chance to do it and if you cut it way too short or then you can't go back it's not a do-over so I like to creep up to my measurements all right I start with a, the most precise measurement I can get and cut to that length and if it's a little too long I creep up to it either shaving it down um, sanding it down or whatever it may be to creep up to that those uh, those those inches and once I got that all flush I just go back with my risers and pretty much and work it in and see and so I got a nice clean edge and a nice clean edge on both sides now when you installing the the treads and the riser together. If you're doing over existing treads and riser, as I am, uh, I'm using a riser. These go on top of your tread, like as so. All right, so that's how it'll look. And you got a nice clean edge, left, right, and back. So that's how it's gonna look, guys. All right, um, when you drop it down, um, you may have a little gap, which I'm gonna have to come back and just trim this piece off so it fit nice and tight, and the next one will come over that one, and so on. So that's pretty much it. All right. I um, hope that makes sense to you guys on installing this. So I have my width correct. Now I have to cut my length because right now this is coming out a little too far. So uh, I'm gonna get that measurement cut it to length on the table saw and that'll be done for the first riser and again all of this is going to be dry fitted first before you even put any glue on glue down so everything's going to be dry fitted all the way up to the top to make sure everything's good and then what i'll do i'll take it all off glue it uh tack nail it in the corners and we'll be done so let me continue on with that uh and that's it guys let me uh i'm gonna put this on a time lapse and thanks for joining me and let's get into the video guys as you can see I got everything dry fitted now I need to find out the width of it or the depth of my steps all right so again I'm using air risers to go over my existing risers all right so the best bet how I find to find out that just grab one of the scraps that you cut off butt it against this the existing tread and you're simply going to take a tape measure and you're going to measure from the, tr uh, the riser to, in to the inside lip. Because as you can see, this inside lip, this is where it's going to come in contact with your, your risers. So you want to measure that gap to this point here. And I'll give you how much you have to take off. And in my case, looking at it. I'm about two inches. Uh, two inches have to come off in my case. All right. So that's that's what you have to do. And what I'm going to do, uh, I measure it from this end and I'm going to measure it from this end also just to give me just as, just in case this is kind of off angle. Just to give me an idea where I'm at in the ballpark where I need to cut. All right. And that's pretty much it. All right. Then I'm going to take it back to the table saw. I'm going to rip that ten, two inches off. And that will be my first uh, riser that I can now start to put in. 
Alright guys, um, I want to show you, I ripped two inches off using that method, I slide it in and it's perfect. Alright, everything's dry fitted, nothing's, nothing's um, tacked down yet, and as you can see, as I'm looking at it, everything looks good. Alright, once it's glued down, this will go a little closer and it looks real nice. Alright, now if you notice, I have just a little gaps here, which is no big deal. Um, I have trim cork. I'm just gonna come with trim cork, fill those gaps in, and they'll blend in um, right in the background when you uh, when you paint when I finish painting. And that's it, guys. Um, first tread is done. So what I'm gonna do now, and when I come in with the next one, come in with the riser. It's gonna go come in, and then all I have to do now with this one. Is trim. I have about a say about a half an inch. I have to trim off just to drop this down so it's nice and level. So when I bring this trim, this riser down, um, it fits it nice and snug. So that's it. All right. Um, again, I hope these tips are helping you guys out there. Uh, Next step. All right. I'm about to glue my first tr riser. And my first tread on all right so what i'm using to let you guys know i'm using the gorilla heavy duty all right again i'll put a link on this version but whatever you get uh make sure it's not water based they say when you do this type of stuff all right so it's very simple all i'm gonna do is just apply a good bead on this riser i'm gonna lift it up into place the first riser is going to run a little lower than here uh, because it's more important to me for I have a nice clean edge to the to the floor as opposed to having it up top. You won't even see that part when you put the, the tread on. So I'm just going to put a bead on. They'll cover this old tread and we'll continue on. All right. And also I'd like you guys to know too, if you're working with some type of finished floors, make sure you put some paper down because you're dealing with this glue and you don't want the glue to get on something that you don't want it to be on. All right, so I got the bead the glue. All I'm doing, all I'm gonna do now, just lift it into place. All right, and press in. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull back off of it, just a little bit and go back on it again. Because it, when I do that, it gives me an indication how's my adhesion is going. Here, I'm just gonna put a little more toward the top. Okay. All right, put it back on again. And that's it, pretty much it. Now what I'm gonna do, on my application, I'm gonna get some, I got 16 gauge finishing pinning nails. All I'm gonna do is gonna tap it to the top here, 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 here. If you place that, this edge is gonna show, it's not, it's gonna cover. I'm gonna put some pinning nails just to, just to secure it more to the, to the riser. And that's pretty much it guys. All right. guys as you can see I'm done 
well not completely done but majority of it's done all right and this is how it looks and I must say it came out pretty good I just got to go back um, throw some wood filler in to get some gaps and wifey's gonna pick up a stain to match the come close to the den floor and I just have to cap it off with some mold, molding on the two ends. But overall, that's it guys. This is the facelift for the stairs. It looks pretty good. Alright. Um, I just have to complete the upstairs with transition to the old kitchen floor, which is gonna be replaced because the whole kitchen's getting done. This is all gonna be gutted out, so um, but I have to do this part here and pretty much same premise excuse me I'm gonna use uh, this is a scrap right here let's see it comes right over pretty nicely I'll put it up against it and that'll be the, the finishing top layer so when the kitchen done all I have to do is put a, a saddle or transition piece up here when I get to it but overall that's the last piece I need to do and I'll get that done soon but overall, I'm happy with the results. Alright guys, if you like this, if this was helpful, please give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the, subscribing to the channel. And I'll hit you off for the next one. Alright, later.